This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so I've just watched a fantastic interview, and I highly recommend it, with John Fury, Tyson Fury's father, and I'll put a link to it in the description box as always. In fact, you'll find it on the YouTube channel, Joe. Now, within this one, of course, he's speaking about Tyson versus uh, Deontay um, this coming weekend. And of course, he was speaking about the Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk fight. And not for the first time, in fact, for multiple times now, John Fury has said exactly the same things that I've been saying about different subjects. But on this one, Joshua and Usyk. Now, what he's saying about Anthony Joshua is, firstly, he's predicting that Anthony Joshua will get revenge. He will recognize what it was that went wrong for him in that fight, and he will make those adjustments. And of course, that will mean looking at his team. But no matter what, John Fury is predicting that Anthony Joshua will get revenge over Alexander Usyk. But again, John Fury, he's saying how even Anthony Joshua losing it's not like he's lost to a complete, I forget what word he used, but something like a cabbage or whatever, okay? He didn't lose to a nobody. He lost to Alexander Usyk, a brilliant technician, a brilliant fighter. And Joshua gave Usyk issues in that problem. Um, I mean, that fight. He gave um, Usyk a lot of problems. Unfortunately for Joshua, he received more problems than what he gave out. But either way, John Fury is saying he will know what went wrong and he will make those amendments. He said that Anthony Joshua is a champion in the ring and out the ring. In fact, he compared him to Deontay Wilder. He says Deontay Wilder isn't good enough to carry Anthony Joshua's jockstrap because of how Joshua handles himself in defeat. Because of how Anthony Joshua handles himself when he's winning and how he handles himself when he loses. He's a man's man, is what John Fury is saying. Now, he said that Anthony Joshua has put British boxing on the map. And for anybody who's saying that Anthony Joshua is no good and whatever else, as you said there, you don't become an Olympian. You don't get a medal. You don't become a multi-world champion like an Anthony Joshua if you're no good. You don't just get given these belts. You earn them because you're good. So he continues and he goes on and on and on about it. But everything that John Fury is saying... I've already previously said, and what's happened, some of these Tyson Fury fanatics, the same people who are coming at me, are they going to go at John Fury? No, of course not. Because for them, they think that their way of thinking and their attitude is what John Fury thinks, what Tyson Fury thinks, what Peter Fury thinks, and what the Fury family thinks. No, they wouldn't keep you in their company for more than five seconds without grabbing you by the scruff of the neck and throwing you out the door. They don't like you. They don't agree with you. John Fury now agrees with me, if, of course, he was to hear my videos, because he says exactly the same things, much like he did when I was speaking about the whole Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua debacle, where it was basically one big con job, and I feel conned by it. John Fury said the exact same thing. So anybody who wants to run around and disagree because you're a Tyson Fury fanatic, well, John Fury agrees with me. He doesn't agree with you, okay? Is what it is. But as far as Anthony Joshua putting British boxing on the map, well, of course he did. And I've made reference to this a few times where Tyson Fury, he was the one who went over to Dusseldorf. He was the one who dethroned a decade reigning unified heavyweight champion in Vladimir Klitschko. Tyson Fury did that. And I've made reference to it before, and I'll say it again. Tyson Fury unlocked the door. He took the keys. But then, the demons got the better of him, whether it be because he just didn't want it anymore, whether it be because, uh, quite literally, the demons got hold of him and sent him down this whirlwind spiral of depression. Anthony Joshua, he seized the opportunity. Where Tyson Fury unlocked the doors, Anthony Joshua kicked them off the hinges. And that's pretty much what it is that John Fury's getting at. Because Anthony Joshua, he has put British boxing on the map. People talk about British boxing. Not just Anthony Joshua. They talk about many, many British boxers. Because people are intrigued by Anthony Joshua. Then they start looking at other fighters. And it's not just the fans, of course, talk about it. We talk about companies. People who own companies, for example, will sponsor fighters. Because they want to be involved in boxing in some capacity. 
They recognize boxing is a huge platform now, especially here in the UK. So that benefits all the small hall fighters as well. Everybody benefits. Anthony Joshua training at the EIS. I know, uh, like some people, I've seen a few comments before that he shouldn't be training at the EIS because it's a lottery funded place. But at the end of the day, just Joshua being there helps the GB team because they're being around a world champion, somebody who carries himself in the way that he does. I said before, you may not like Anthony Joshua and you may have your reasons for it. And you may well like Joshua. Again, you will have your reasons for liking him too. But he is good for the sport. Just him being around the EIS with these amateur fighters who can look at Anthony Joshua and think, I want to be like him. I want to have his bank balance. This is a guy who got into boxing at 18 years old. I got into boxing younger than what Anthony Joshua had done. So therefore, maybe I can achieve what he's done and more. And of course, he's there so they can pick his brain. And I know quite a few people who were and are still GB amateurs. Some of them are now pros, of course, and everyone says the same thing. When they see Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua, he will come down and sit next to you and just talk to you. He'll talk to you about life, he'll talk to you about your career, and he won't necessarily always give you the advice, but if you ask him for the advice, he will give you the advice, but he's interested in you. What is it that you do? What makes you two? Why are you into boxing? What makes you have your certain style? Where's, what's your goals? Joshua takes his, his own time and he spends it with the youth. Okay, not all of them's youth. Okay, some of them are older than many of you listening right now. But the point is, he is good for boxing. He is the one who has put British boxing on the map. He has. He's selling out arenas. And now he's selling out stadiums, not just here in the UK, but around the world. He sold out Madison Square Garden in New York in record time. Again, let's be brutally honest. I know some Fury fanatics just don't want to hear it. This third fight with Tyson and Wilder, he still hasn't even sold out. And they've been selling these tickets for months. And it's not like Joshua's tickets were cheaper. Joshua's tickets were very, very expensive in Madison Square Garden. Very, very expensive, but they sold out because AJ is an attraction. Like Canelo is an attraction. That's not a diss on Tyson and Deontay Wilder. Not at all. It's just that some people have that selling star power more than others. Tyson Fury is a superstar in his own right. Tyson Fury is more of a celebrity and a superstar in America than Deontay Wilder is. He is. Wilder, I mean, he couldn't sell out a bingo hall. Okay, let's be honest, he never has been and probably never will do. But ultimately, Anthony Joshua and John Fury is correct. Anthony Joshua is good for boxing. A lot of you are watching boxing now because of Anthony Joshua. You got into watching boxing because of the lure of Anthony Joshua. And from then, it's been like a bit of a spider's web. You started watching other events and got more and more into boxing. Which is why a lot of you here on YouTube say with me, for example, because I'll talk about different subjects, the politics, the boxing news. And for many of you, that's interesting and that's good. But, but the point is a lot of you started because of Anthony Joshua. John Fury is absolutely correct. As I said before, you may not like John Fury. You don't have to, but you have to say very, very straight down the middle. Very, very straight down the middle. For me, I'd love to interview John Fury. I don't think it'll ever happen, but I would absolutely love to. I think that John Fury is as straight talking as they possibly come. And yet again, a lot of these Tyson Fury fanatics, John Fury has just exposed you for what you are. He doesn't share your thought process on Anthony Joshua. He doesn't share your thought process on many things. Maybe you're supporting the wrong person here. Don't you think? You think that the Fury family would like your way of thinking. They don't. They genuinely don't. So you call yourself a Tyson Fury fan. You're not really. You're not. Because that's not the kind of fans they want. 
They want straight talkers. And John Fury is showing you that. Straight talking. Full respect to Anthony Joshua. So anyway, link to that video in the description box. It's not a long one. It's only about 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Go give it a watch and you'll be totally agreed with John Fury for what he says about Anthony Joshua. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video.